Hello guys, I'm back. This time with the uh, last team standing with combat rifle. Uh, as you see, it's uh, some tips. So before I start, let me tell you that uh, I am not as active as I was because of the real life stuff that's just happening happening around me. It's really not as it used to be. So as combat rifle, you should mainly stay in the defensive position. Like, don't try to approach your enemy like if there's like two guys. Combat rifle is uh, really good only if it's uh, one versus one combat. Uh, the thing about combat rifle, it can be good in any range, but you just need to know how to play with it and how to dominate people with it. It's not as hard if you really know what you're doing. So the first thing about the combat rifle is that uh, don't wait for the recoil like till it comes back. That's the biggest mistake I saw people doing it, like, I don't even know why they're doing it. So anyway, I'll explain why. You can't wait for the recoil because you need a fast kill, otherwise you're going to die. Uh, especially if you're using combat rifle against BFR or such stuff, it's terrible. So just control the recoil. With controlling the recoil, you can kill much faster, it's a lot better. The second thing, in last time standing, try to be in a mid-range. It's the best range for combo rifle. Uh, long range is only good against uh, weapons like PF uh, sorry, BAR, where people just ADS. They have to ADS, otherwise they're not going to kill you. That's it. And SMGs, yeah, about SMGs, and M4s, just try to stay in uh, medium range or somewhere between between uh, mid and long. That's going to work every single time, trust me. And as I said, uh, also you can try to hip fire the first round if it's in the mid range. It works uh, just amazing. <laughs> the gun itself is a weapon of mass destruction, it's a uh, jack of all trades, I would call it like that. Uh, simply because it can be viable also in medium range, but as I said, you have to be a lot defensive. In in medium range, it's kinda very good against the AR. It's actually it's actually a weapon. I would call it like it's like the nemesis of AR. Like really, this gun can totally dominate AR. <laughs> like no matter the range can do it. Uh, just like it can dominate uh, HAR in close range. It's amazing how I can dominate HARs with this weapon in close range. But uh, of course if you're facing M4 SMG, that's really hard. It's almost impossible to kill those guys if they are actually good. Mm, what else? And it's it's not as hard actually. Uh, people who are using bars should know how to play with this gun like much uh, faster than someone with SMG. If you're a rushy guy, I'm sure you want to do really good in the first game with this gun. But uh, in time, you'll get much better with it and <laughs> sooner or later it will become your favorite weapon. It's already my favorite weapon and I'm a bar player. This gun is just amazing. <laughs> It really dominates everything if you know how to. Also, about LTS games um, with combat rifle, uh, with this gun, you can't support the team as well as with bar. But if you see someone that's just one person, try to concentrate on him. But uh, be aware, there can be other guys who can flank you also. And to be honest, this gun is more viable than uh, AR. In my opinion, it's totally more viable. Because in mid-range, it can pretty much defeat anything. Even SMGs, even M4. Even if the guy like he fires you, if you can still land all of those shots inside of him, then it's no problem. He's gonna die much faster because of the DPS of this gun. As you can see, I can even outsnipe someone with it. Uh, if you want uh, my suggestion about the scope, I would go for three times, 
to four times scope uh, because you have to be as I said the jack of all and the master of none so that makes you to fight in longer ranges as well as uh, closer ranges so this Elotech scope is just amazing for it at least for me so you guys can choose what you want um, about the builds there are two builds uh, I know about that are really good the first one is uh, with the run speed stock uh, sorry uh, run speed uh, barrel it's uh, before the leatherneck or after leatherneck I'm not sure now um, I used it on a bar for quite a time and the second one is uh, the one I'm correctly using which is uh, not the minimal recoil but uh, it's still low recoil and it has 90 damage so it's really really good you can trade shot almost anything and if you headshot it's just two shots like with any combo rifle well well but there is one downside about combo rifle it doesn't matter if you have a good aim or not you're just it's it's so harder to kill the guys who are using Tog's helmet because of their armor it's 25 percent that's just th too damn high I would suggest a fucking nerf to that shit because make it at least 20 or I don't know 20 would be much better in my opinion because like this you can't kill someone on two hits if, even if you headshot one time and then body shot it's impossible so it's the biggest downside of this weapon also uh, slant is another version but slant is slightly better I think it's it's still able to two shot like this that uh, you can once headshot and once body shot and you can kill him I guess it's possible but not with fucking Taug's helmet that's what annoys me it annoys me really much when I'm like okay he's with headshot it now what's body shot and I body shot him and I die that's it and I'm pissed <laughs> I think that's it about the downsides it doesn't have really much downsides if you know how to play with it you're going to, going to own everything in the fucking server but as I said uh, you should mainly play as defense mid-range it depends on where the enemy is and um, what are their squ squads or how can I say it by this I mean that you can't kill more than two guys it's impossible with combat rifle uh, best thing to do is do 1v1 combats and possibly 1v2 but it's, it's also enough for me so yeah you can't stomp four people at once like it's a bar you just hit and pick again and yeah that's it so react fast don't be afraid to pull out your secondary and yeah, watch yourself out there. See you guys.